Well, everybody, welcome to the video. Today, like I said, having a little coffee in the basement. It's a little cold, so I got my hat on. We are going to be working on Star-Lord's Blaster. Now, this went through a lot of changes. Uh, I was going to wire this 3D thing up, print up, and make sound, and then I realized there's just no room in this body for this without me totally redesigning the the STL file, and it was a nightmare. So I decided to just go straight, cool-looking blaster. And I had a lot of fun with it. So let's head over to the workbench and get started. Well, all right. These blasters were a lot of fun. They took me quite a while because I was going to do some kind of fancy stuff and add electronics and, oh, it was a nightmare. And I decided I'm going to go a little bit simpler. So I sort of just pieced the pieces together because it's a fairly weird gun. Nope, that one doesn't go there. And yes, that one does. Okay, so now, again... We did the normal printing, sanding, priming, uh, all the stuff that I use as far as primer in the description below. And now it's time to just start gluing things up. I gave the ends a little bit of a sanding just to uh, get them scuffed up. And then, of course, put on a generous bead of super glue and stuck them together. Now, instead of holding them, uh, you know, forever and waiting for them to dry, because you'd think this stuff would go fast, but it really doesn't. We used a little bit of accelerator on there. And what's on the iPhone? What are we watching there? I believe it's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, one of my favorite TV shows. And, of course, now this stuff is just going to make it solid and dry nice and good. And, boom, we are all put together. And uh, it looks pretty sharp. A lot of gaps. Uh, had some weird stuff going on with the printing. So we're going to be have to adding uh, a lot of filler to make this thing look like it's one cohesive part and then of course we're going to just rinse and repeat and do the same to the other gun so that both are glued up i let this dry for quite a while since there's so many parts thumbs up and now it's time to fill it in so i use the uh, bondo uh, filler the that orange stuff not the full-on bondo but the little filler primer and went ahead and just worked that into the creases and crevices probably should have used standard bondo i had to give it a few more coats than i probably would have had to but it worked out, and there it is. And, of course, now we're just going to sand all that down. And I'm doing a lot of this stuff off camera because we're jumping to the gun. So I had done all the sanding I needed to do. I taped it off, and then I went ahead and painted on the chrome pieces, masked those, and then painted on the black or graphite pieces and again all the paint is at 3d printed props gear or you can just find a link in the description so i'm just looking at different references and then peeling this paint off and i have to say it is quite satisfying to do that i very much enjoy it Okay, so now I've actually had to go and do some more taping off. I forgot to print or paint some of these areas gold, and I also printed some with a paintbrush, and I wasn't really happy with it. So I'm using a sort of, you know, plastic bag here to do some of the major masking areas, so I'm not just taping everything. I like to do this just to make sure you tape off all the edges just nice. But if you use bags like this, then you're not taping everything off. One of the other problems I had with this is I didn't plan out what I needed to tape and where where I probably could have just made you know you know two tapes uh, tape moves here but I ended up doing like three or four. So plan things out, see where you should mask things off and take your time. That was what I did not do. So once it was all masked off and broken up like this, I was ready to give it another coat of the gold, peel that off and there we go. Now we've got the graphite, we've got the gold, and we've got the silver. All right, now it's time for the carbon fiber look. And with that, I'm just using some carbon fiber uh, sticky paper. And again, the links to this are down below. And uh, that is not a burn. Uh, I think I did not wear gloves when I was painting something. <laughs> that big red. I didn't notice that before. And uh, I'm, I've never done this. Uh, so I'm going to use the heat gun. I'm going to trace out some areas and do some cutting. I'm going to warn you. Uh, I'm going to fast do go on fast lightning speed here. This took forever and is not uh, what you would call pretty. <laughs> it's okay. 
it's passable. It's cosplay, so it isn't going to be perfect like this other like the references I'm looking at. Um, this is the first time I've ever used this kind of stuff or done any kind of uh, adhesive, you know, sort of vinyl work, and it shows. But I got to say, in the end, you know, when they're in their holsters and I'm walking around, I think it looks pretty good. That video is coming, so let's go ahead and watch this nightmare unfold. And I'd like to say, you know, try this or try that to not do my mistakes, but I don't really know a good way to do this. It's such a weird uh, area to cover, so many cracks and crevices. I'd probably look up some type of card detailing site to get some more tips. But uh, it was fun, and the heat gun definitely helped stretching it. But, um, you know, yeah, in the end, uh, I was hoping for a little bit smoother look. All right, now that that nightmare is over, uh, we're going to do some airbrush work. And again, all the things that I use are going to be in the description below. It's a great little airbrush, really cheap. I'm looking at my references again, and I'm using these Alclad metallic uh, candy sort of paints. And they're pretty neat because they have that sort of glowy sort of metallic burnt look when you use them. And uh, I have not used my airbrush in a long time, so... It, this took me quite a bit of time, and it ran here and there because, like I said, I haven't picked up my airbrush in a while, and I'm way too close. And I did not remember that it smells when you use these. And as you all know, I am not supposed to be spray painting in the basement. I did not think this was going to smell. I had forgotten. And, uh, oh, wow. Um, yeah. I ran some fans, opened some windows, and hope to God it didn't reach upstairs. It didn't. So thank goodness. So after we've got the uh, red there, we're going to go with this blue to give that a look. And yeah, overall, I ended up being really happy with it. I love these paints. Again, they will be in the description over at 3dprinterprops.com. And again, anything you can do to help out the channel, if you're going to buy this stuff, hit those links. We get a little bit of cash. That helps me buy more paint, more everything. So that's pretty cool. So there we go. We have got, there's a little bit of a run there. I'm going to end up having to fix that. But you know what? These are Star-Lord's guns, and they're beat up and weathered. Well, all right, that was Star-Lord's blaster. I mean, again, a lot of fun. Real pain with that Teflon paper, that uh, Teflon stickers. Uh, I have seen some people use um, their shelf liners that will go ahead and then you spray paint. But I wanted to give it a try. Not easy on this type of a um, really intricate uh piece <laughs> but uh, I think it turned out okay uh, really super close inspection you can see some of the seams but um, you know Star Lord's blasters are really beat up so really happy with these uh, again first time with a um, airbrush and I'm so glad it needed to look really distressed because it looks very distressed <laughs> with that airbrush but I'm really happy with the tone of it it definitely looks like his blasters and yeah we are really, at this point, all set. The next video we see with Star-Lord is going to be uh, an actual... Um, no, it isn't actually. I still need to put the holsters that hold these onto the belt. So the next video we're going we're gonna to see is me putting those little holster mounts for the guns on the belt. And then we're finally going to do the full cosplay dress-up. So, all right, look for those videos and more. Really appreciate you watching. If you liked the video, click like. If you uh, want to subscribe, of course, hit subscribe. Hit the little bell to get instant notifications. If you are interested in making these, everything that I used to make these is uh, in the description below under 3dprintedpropsgear.com. Those are affiliate links. You buy from there, you help out the channel. It gives me a little bit of cash here and there to be able to buy the stuff I use to make all this stuff. So, uh, really appreciate it. Uh, thanks again. We'll be back with more. Take it easy.